Yeah, 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 yeah. This is Addison Smith with Campus Reform. We're here at the University of Virginia today asking students what they think when they find out that President Trump's net worth has increased 30-fold since running for political 30-fold. And what will students think when they actually figure out that all of this was President Barack Obama? and that President Trump's net worth has actually been cut in half. Let's see what they have to say. In the news, it's come out that Trump's net worth has actually increased uh, by you know 30 times more than it was before he entered office. Uh, okay. Do you see that as a problem? I definitely do. I don't think that an executive office should be used for like personal business gains. Mm -hmm. Trump's using a lot of his businesses in like Saudi Arabia and like other countries to you know increase his profits as president. I mean, that's a huge problem because, like, once you're president, you have a lot of powers. And... Bruh. So, thank you for whoever sent me this video um, to react to. I really appreciate it. Um, <laughs> and he's basically going around asking college students or telling college students facts about President Trump, but really it's about President Barack Obama. And it's crazy because when I hear this, because I am in college right now, I'm not going to lie, like, this is how we kind of operate. Like, we are, I, th I think we are pretty smart, but I just feel like when it comes to very specific topics such as um, politics and all that stuff, we really, college doesn't really touch on that. Like, it teaches you about your major, of course, but I feel like when it comes to the world issues, we really don't be knowing, but this is also the stage where we, like, form our own political beliefs and stuff. So it's interesting to see him talk about this and, bring awareness to this you can take advantage of that stuff well yeah he's supposed to serve the country not profit yeah. of it so it doesn't make sense yeah i feel like people who have that much money you know there's always a way that they get it that's going to be something that we don't like mm -hmm. so like you're supposed to when you take the role as a president, you're not supposed to try to benefit or make business deal, you know, in order for you. Now, I like how everyone's just trying to be like so morally superior. Like, bro, if his, if his net worth increased, let it increase. It's going to increase. You become the president. Yeah, my net worth will increase if I become the president. Facts. Facts. You to gain money. President Trump's net worth has increased 30 fold since entering office. Do you think that's a problem? Probably a little bit. I don't know anything about it, but I would imagine that she's the first honest probably one. Probably is. Honestly, yes, because how can the income gap and like the wealth gap be so large, and he is still profiting off of being president, not actually benefiting the country at all? Uh, so, insofar as the presidency is a public office, and it's ultimately our responsibility as a public to the to be the primary beneficiaries of said office, I would say it's an issue. Um, I do think that's an issue. I don't know much about politics, but I don't think that's the president's job. I'm pretty sure of that. Do you guys think it's okay yeah. for a president to make money off of, uh, you know, their time in office? Um, I think so because I mean they're doing a job. Everyone yeah, it's a job. Work, so I think it's fair. It should be. They should be paid. I just think it's. I think they should be paid too, bro. At the end of the day, it's the one. Of the, it's it's almost one of the most. Well, it's one of the most important jobs in the world. Because America is one of the leading nations in the world. It's one of the most important jobs in the world. If your network increases 30-fold being the president, let it increase, bro. Let it increase. You got a job to do. You can make you can make some bread, bro. No cap. It's unethical for a president to be able to, like, actually gain so much from his office and not do much for his country. Yeah. So you would, you would say it's pretty corrupt? Yes, very corrupt. He's using, the, he's using it as, uh, as making money. But I don't know. I mean, you got to get it how you live. Uh, everyone's goal in life is to make money. So everything's a business. Everything's about money. The only problem with that would be, though, is that if your network net worth increases so much to the point where you let it negatively impact your job, then then we have a real issue. Like if your primary goal as a president is to just make money or to just run it up. Now we have an issue, bro. I'm not gonna cap. Of course, your network's gonna increase. You're the president. If you speak somewhere, they're gonna give you like a million just to speak because you're the president. But if your goal for being the president is just to make some money, then that's when we have a problem. So if money can be made, then 
somebody's going to, you know, take advantage of it? Uh, I think that's definitely questionable. This is a president who has um, profited off a lot of uh, systems uh, in the past of his entire life, and so has his father and grandfather. Uh, do you expect him to get into office and dismantle those exact same systems that made him rich in the first place? Or you to sound dumb. Magnify those wrong. systems. Would you say that that's corrupt? Of course. And he don't even sound dumb. It's just crazy how, like, because what he said, it was just so biased and so wrong. It was crazy. Like, they're not even talking about Trump here. And I didn't even know. Like, if he would have called me on the street, I would have sounded so dumb, man. But since I read the title, like, I know. But it's just crazy. Like, we all just have biases against certain people, and we don't know nothing about them. We don't even know what, what we're, the information we're learning is true. We just walking around thinking we the smartest people on earth, <laughs> thinking we know everything. The whole time, we wrong as a mug, man. That's crazy. Magnify those systems. Would you say that that's corrupt? Of course. That doesn't sound right to me. And he's in the presidency where you really shouldn't be making money. But The fact that a president's net worth increases because of their prominent role as president doesn't seem to surprise me. So like it, like Obama makes millions of dollars off of book tours, which I feel is totally just. I feel that's great for him to be able to do so. I mean, I don't agree with it. I don't agree with a lot of things that Trump does, fold. but that's just one of them. I mean, he kind of treats the presidency as a circus show, frankly. Um, in yeah. what way? His decorum, the way he talks to people, the way he treats the office, the respect he has for other individuals of stature in the government, so yeah. What if I told you that it was actually President Barack Obama whose net worth has increased 30-fold, and that President Trump is actually giving away his presidential salary, and then President Trump's actually, his net worth has been cut in half? You know, I, I actually, when you said that, I, I questioned that Trump's worth had, had gone up 30-fold. You got it! Uh, because he was already a billionaire uh, before. Then why didn't you say that? Why didn't you say that? If you really thought that, why didn't you save it? It looks like you're trying to save face here. Because if you really question the validity of a statement, why didn't you ask, is that true? Like, a simple question. Had, had gone up 30-fold uh, because he was already a billionaire um, beforehand and he would have been, like, in the top list now. Does that change anything? Not really, yeah. you know. But I think Obama did it too, is he morally wrong? All presidents take advantage of their power. It doesn't change anything for me. I mean, both Barack Obama and Donald Trump have found ways to, you know, enter foreign... And you see, this is the problem, man. Like, when they hear that it's uh, Barack Obama... And I love Barack. I think Barack Obama was a was a huge motivation for, for a lot of people in the African-American community, a lot of young black men. He Just him, his presence was a motivation, honestly. But here's the problem. The fact that you're changing your entire moral output, or your moral stance, your entire moral stance... Just based off of who did what. Just finding out that it was Obama who did it. You're changing your entire moral stance. You go from, yeah, it's wrong, this is terrible, to, yeah, I mean, all presidents do. What's the problem? This is the problem. That no matter what you hear, you're so caught up that you refuse to change your views, man. That's that's not right. And policy, like, differences and wars and, and ways to increase their power, so... Do you think maybe students uh, will will hear a name and kind of already have a, a presupposition I mean, in their mind? I mean, yeah. Most mm -hmm. people, you come up with an uh, uh, implicit bias and you kind of stick with it. Uh, yeah. Trump has actually lost half of his net worth. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean... <laughs> would, that, would, that, would that change anything for you? Yeah. I mean... Because yeah. it, it was actually Obama. And not Trump. It wasn't Trump. No president should benefit off their country. Uh, I feel like that's ground based for everyone. Oh damn! I don't know. That would be bad too. Well, <laughs> if it was him as well. It would be bad. Does that surprise you? Yeah. 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 No man, that's still an issue no matter what man. Yeah, you yeah. can't be giving uh, you can't be giving out people's money. People are struggling day in day out, trying to make ends meet, um, trying to put food on the table. So. And I feel like with my generation, um, at least with me. Unless, of course, you're studying in politics, you're really into politics, that's your thing. Well, my generation, when uh, Obama became president, we were we were literally kids. Like, he became president in 2008. The people in college right now are born between the ages of 2000, I say 2002 to 2006, 2005. So you were a kid for real. And even if this video was recorded two, three years ago, um, when Obama was president, you were still a kid. Probably an early teenager. So... At the end of the day, you don't really know nothing at that age anyways, especially about politics. So it's like we just pick a side and just run with it forever. 
and we just never change it. We don't even know why we support the side. We just do. I think that was a selfish act uh, upon Obama. But Barack Obama is, is questionable uh, for a lot of things, the least of which is his how he gained his money. Do you think there's still an issue that Obama yeah, would do that? there's an issue. I personally don't believe that um, President Obama was like a horrible president, but he was a bad president, especially towards the minorities. I will say that. Mm -hmm. No! And I want to <laughs> go Obama, you know? Does that surprise you that Obama did that? No. No? Okay. I still think it's problematic to be using the presidency. Do you think that some people might hear a name and automatically, you know, have a presupposition or a bias against that person because of their name, like yes. the president? Absolutely. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's Donald Trump, Barack Obama, there's biases on both sides. Absolutely. Like he said, just the name, the name is enough. Like you can say, you could say, you could say Donald Trump did anything, and if it's bad, most people will probably believe you. Same thing with Barack. You can say Barack did a lot of good things. Whether he did them or not, if it, they're good, they probably believe you. But yeah, if you have any more suggestions, um, just comment down below, email me, and I'll respond. And I'll see y'all later.